It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And this one features the Saints, Offensive Player of the Year. He was a tour de force a week ago. Six passing touchdowns. It's the Saints and the Panthers on Sunday night. We are down on the bayou as you get a look inside the Superdome here in New Orleans. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup on tap as it'll be the Carolina Panthers taking on the New Orleans Saints. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Saints team as they enter. A little extra juice, but at the same time, it's not a make or break if this were, let's say, week 15, 16, somewhere in that neighborhood. Camara with a carry there on first down as he works his way to play sheet and say this is what the problem is. Yeah, let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands and maybe the offense will move a little bit. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. That one a first down. Just like that one we saw there. They'll run with a backup. This is Williams. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the full nine. Looking to throw. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. They'll come out throwing here on first down. He completes it to Alave. And it... They'll look to throw. Touchdown, Saints. Devin Duvernay, his second touchdown on the season. And the Saints are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Good start to the season for him. He had the touchdown last week in the opener and a second one in week two now. How about the pace he's already established, right? Not sure he can keep it up. Back to throw. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. Juwan Jackson. 16-yard touchdown. And the Saints have taken the lead as they go right down the... Second and 11. Sliding out of the pocket. 20! 10! Touchdown! New Orleans! Evan Kamara, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Saints are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Good throw there, and I don't want to blow it too out of proportion, but he looks a lot more comfortable in his second season. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. That is hauled in by Michael Thomas. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era, and we think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. <laughs> That's all they care about right now. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Second and five. That is caught by Alave. Touchdown, New Orleans. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Saints are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth-quarter lead. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season... Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Out to the left. That's where the tight end Malone is. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because, to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. Down before it gets going, that's exactly what you're looking for. Eluding the pressure right. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. 
Taking it in from seven yards away. And the Saints are on their way to a 2 0 start. That's a really good decision right there outside of the pocket. You've got to know the right time to shift from pass to the runner. He was looking and looking. Nothing there. You can almost feel the brainwaves firing as he calculates. was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory. But Brandon, I think they're the type of team that just looked in the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on, but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence, and made it happen for a victory.